how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick four reference points as shown. Select this reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick this reference plane. And this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Select point element. Pick at this reference line. Select the reference point. Then pick host point by intersection. Pick this reference line. Now the reference point is hosted by intersection of two lines. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Draw a circle. Then select the circle. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick three reference points at the circle. Next. Select the reference point. Then pick host point by intersection. Pick this reference line. Select the reference point. Then pick host point by intersection. Pick this reference line. Select the reference point. Then pick host point by intersection. Pick this reference line. Next. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. OK. Select the reference point. Change the offset value to 500 millimeters. Then select associate family parameters. Select instance. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then select the circle. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Next. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process.
Next. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select this three reference lines, then select create form. Select the surface, materials and finishes, associate family parameter. Select instance, name it, pattern finish. OK, OK. Repeat the process. Next, go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Divisor. Type of Parameter Select Integer. Let's group it under Dimensions. OK. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 10. And let's link the Diameter Parameter to the Attractor by adding the formula. Attractor Distance over Attractor Divisor. Apply. Perfect. Change the thickness to 50 mm. Apply. Perfect. OK. Uncheck Shared. Then check Always Vertical. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Elvahar Panel. Save the family. Next. Open a new family and select metric generic model pattern based open select point element then select set work plane set this plane then pick reference point select set work plane set this plane then pick reference point select this reference points go to filter check none then check reference points ok Change the offset value to 500 mm. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Then select Spline Through Points. Then check is Reference Line. Select Point Element. Pick at this reference line. Select the reference point. Change the NCP value to 0.1. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. NCP. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the V-Grid and U-Grid number to 20. Go to U-Grid number. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. U-Grid. OK. OK. Go to V-Grid number. And Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. V-Grid. OK. OK. Go to Properties. And select Triangle Flat Pattern. Turn on the surface. Pick this small arrow. Uncheck Pattern Fill. Select the Surface tab. Check the nodes. OK.
go back to adaptive all Bahar panel family. Load into project and close. Placement plane. Select level 1. Select place on face. Pick three nodes based on adaptive points number of adaptive all Bahar panel family. Pick this reference point as a tractor point. Select the panel. And associate family parameters. Next, select the repeat. Perfect. Go to family types. Change the attractor divisor value to 40. OK. Perfect. Expand the families. Pick and drag the adaptive panel we created. Pick three nodes based on adaptive points number of adaptive all Bahar panel family. Pick this reference point as a tractor point. Select the panel. And associate family parameters. Then select the repeat. Repeat the process to complete the pattern. Perfect. Go to Family Types. Let's test the parameters. Change the NCP value to 0.5. Apply. Go to View Cube. Select the top. Select Realistic. Perfect. Let's test again the parameters. Change the NCP value to 0.8. Change the attractor divisor value to 30. Apply. Perfect. OK. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.